When the cold rolls in, it's time to turn on the heater and cozy up with a book. But turning up the heat can mean higher electric bills. And for some families in tough times, that could mean choosing between a warm meal or a warm house. For decades, people like you have extended a hand to help local families in need pay those winter electric bills. Share the warmth this winter to help keep your neighbor warm by giving a little when you pay your Grant PUD bill. Judge John Antos denied a petition to contest the results of the Moses Lake school bond in the February 14th election. In a crowded hearing room Monday afternoon, Antos ruled there was substantial compliance with how the Grant County Auditor's Office handled notifying voters with contested ballots with missing or mismatched signatures. Antos's decision upholds voter approval of the Moses Lake School District's $135.3 million construction bond. The issue presented in the lawsuit was whether Grant County Auditor Michelle Jaderland gave proper notice to voters with ballots containing signature issues, citing a state law that says if a voter neglects to sign the ballot declaration or if the signature does not match the signature on the voter registration file, the auditor shall notify the voter by first class mail to correct the ballot and by phone if the ballot is not returned at least three business days before the final meeting of the canvassing board. Board. County records show Jaderlin never attempted to contact those voters by phone who did not return their ballots. Of the 126 ballots with signature issues, 31 were not returned and thus were not counted in the election. Citing a state Supreme Court case in 1950 that established the term substantial compliance, Anto said the law is interpreted as directory, meaning the notice by telephone is not strictly mandatory, and Jaderlin substantially complied with the statute by notifying voters by mail. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News.